in year five and welcome to your last YouTube maths video. So your last fact of the day when we're not in class is 12 times nine equals 108. Oh, I've made a little bit of a mistake there, but that's okay, I've crossed it out, no need to worry. What other facts do you know? 12 times nine equals 108. Okay, so here's another fraction lesson, and this time we've got improper fractions. So improper fractions is where the number on the top, the numerator, is bigger than the number on the bottom, the denominator. So in your pack, you should have these two sheets. Now, I noticed in the photocopying that the shading of this sheet hasn't come out very well. So you might very well need to pause the video because as you can see, I've had to reshade in these because the shading just hasn't quite come out. So if you need to, and you're looking at your sheet and thinking, well, none of the parts are shaded, Mrs. Oliver, you might need to pause it now and quickly just roughly color it in. So you've got this sheet, which is the worksheet. And then I've also put in this sheet, which is an explanation of what you need to do. So have a go with listening to me and we'll do the first one together. But then, as I say, you've got this sheet here, so this will help you. So let's have a look at this first question. So first of all, we need to write it as an improper fraction and then as a mixed number. So the fraction we're going to be writing in, if you can see, so these shapes are all divided into four. So my improper fraction is going to be quarters. So my number, my denominator is four because each shape is divided into quarters and then for my numerator at the top is how many of those how many of those are so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so i've got fifteen quarters that are shaded fifteen quarters and when we look at this it's an improper fraction because the number at the top, as I've said, is bigger than the number at the bottom. So my numerator is much bigger. So this is where you need to think about your um, previous multiplication and division knowledge. Because what we're asking ourselves in order to turn it into a mixed number, a mixed number here just means a whole number with a fraction is the first the question you need to ask yourself is how many groups of four are there in 15 so here you can do that easily because you can see it how many whole groups of four have i got well this is all colored this is all colored and this is all colored so i've got three whole numbers haven't i if these were cakes i've got three whole cakes and how many here are shaded? One, two, three. So three out of four are shaded. So that would be three quarters. So that's quite easy because you can see that. You can check with your um, math knowledge because what you're saying is if you didn't have the pictures there and you wanted to convert it. So if you had four, how many fours go into 15? And you could write that, couldn't you? So let me see. So I've got four. 8, 12, oh, and that would take me to 16. So how many whole groups have I got? So if I was dividing it, I would have 12. And how many would I have left over? 1, 2, 3. If I was doing this as division, I could use the bus stop method. So I could write 4 here and I could write 15 here just to show you that this is what we're doing. I know you can see it here, but this is a mathematical way. How many fours go into 15? Four, eight, 12. So I've got three fours, and that gives me 12. And then a remainder, I've got 13, 14, 15. So I've got three, remainder three. And that's what's given me here, my three and three quarters. So then I'm going to leave you to do the next few by yourself. So again, here these are in halves, aren't they? So your number here, your denominator is going to be a two because it's halves. How many halves have you got? So you write your improper fraction on this side. 
and then your mixed numbers here and remember mixed numbers are a whole number with a fraction and then remember also in your pack you've got this sheet to help you